Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's close to my heart, how INFJs can navigate their fertility journey with grace, authenticity, and hope. As an INFJ myself and a fertility mentor, I understand the unique strengths and challenges you face as INFJs. So let's explore how to leverage your superpowers and downplay your characteristics that might be your kryptonite on your motherhood journey. First thing, number one, trust your intuition. As INFJs, we possess a powerful intuitive nature that often manifests as a strong gut feeling or a knowing that can't be explained. This intuition is our inner compass guiding us through life's complexities. When it comes to your fertility journey, this intuitive strength becomes even more important. Trust that inner voice when making decisions about treatments, practitioners, and lifestyle choices. Your intuition might lead you to a particular doctor who resonates with their values, or it might nudge you towards a specific holistic treatment that others might overlook. Remember, your body and spirit often know what you need before your logical mind catches up. For instance, you might feel drawn to a certain healthcare provider only to discover later that their approach aligns perfectly with your needs. Or you might have a strong feeling about trying a particular technique, which ends up making a significant difference in your fertility health. Don't dismiss these intuitive hits. Instead, use them as starting points for further research. Your intuition is your superpower. Embrace it and let it guide you on this journey. From personal experience as an INFJ, if you can give the steering wheel to your intuition, you will inevitably be led to success. Number two, harness your empathy. Another INFJ superpower is empathy, which is why many INFJs are healers. Our natural empathy is a gift that can profoundly impact your fertility journey. As INFJs, we have an innate ability to understand and share the feelings of others, and this extends to our own bodies and future children. Use this empathetic nature to connect deeply with your body, listen to its signals, understand its rhythms, and respond to its needs with compassion. This might involve practicing body scan meditations, engaging in gentle movement practices like yoga or tai chi, or simply taking quiet moments to check in with yourself throughout the day. Extend this empathy to your future child as well. Many women find it powerful to communicate with their spirit baby, the soul they hope to bring into the world. This might sound esoteric to some, But for INFJs, it can be a natural and profound practice, an extension of who you are as spiritual being. Visualize your future child, send them love, and open yourself to any messages or feelings that arise. I'll include a link to my spirit baby meditation in the description below. If you have a partner, your empathy can strengthen your connection during this journey. Take time to truly listen and understand their feelings, fears, and hopes. This deep emotional attunement can significantly reduce stress for both of you and create a nurturing environment for conception. Remember, empathy isn't just about understanding others. It's also about being kind to yourself. Use your empathetic nature to practice self-compassion throughout your fertility journey. Three, stay present with mindfulness. As INFJs, we have rich, complex inner worlds. While this depth of thought and feeling is one of our greatest strengths, it can sometimes lead us down paths of worry and overthinking, especially during a journey as emotionally charged as calling in your baby. This is where mindfulness becomes your anchor. Mindfulness is the practice of bringing your attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. Implement daily mindfulness practices to stay grounded in the here and now. This could be as simple as taking five deep breaths when you wake up, focusing on the sensations in your body as you brush your teeth, or taking a mindful walk where you really notice the world around you. For your fertility journey specifically, try mindfulness exercises that connect you with your body. A body scan meditation can help you tune into physical sensations and release tension. Mindful eating can help you develop a healthier relationship with food, which is crucial for fertility. You might even practice mindfulness during medical appointments, staying present with each step rather than letting your mind race ahead to potential outcomes. Remember, the future is unknown, and while it's natural for INFJs to want to plan and prepare, 
staying too focused on what might happen can rob you of the peace available in the present moment. By cultivating mindfulness, you can better manage anxiety about the future and fully embrace each step of your fertility journey. Before we move on to the next INFJ characteristic, I want to invite you to join the five-day Magical Mama Challenge. In this challenge, you'll learn powerful techniques to connect deeply with your body and receive its guidance. It's a beautiful way to enhance your mindfulness practice and attune to your body's wisdom. Click the link in the description to sign up and start your journey to becoming a magical mama. Number four, journal for clarity. As you ground yourself in the present through mindfulness, you can also gain clarity through another practice that often comes naturally to INFJs, journaling. Writing is frequently our go-to method for processing thoughts and feelings, making sense of our experiences, and gaining insights. Keep a fertility journal to track not just physical symptoms, but also emotional states and spiritual insights. This practice can be particularly powerful for INFJs because it allows you to externalize your rich inner world, giving form to your thoughts and feelings. In your journal, you might record your daily experiences, your dreams, both nighttime dreams and your hopes for the future, your fears and your moments of joy. You could write about your body's changes throughout your cycle, your emotional responses to treatments or doctor's visits, or insights that come to you during quiet moments. Over time, you'll likely start to see patterns emerge. You might notice how certain foods or activities affect your energy levels or how your mood shifts with your cycle. These insights can be invaluable in tailoring your fertility journey to your unique needs. On top of that, journaling can serve as a form of self-therapy. It provides a safe space to express feelings that you might not be comfortable sharing with others. It can help you work through complex emotions, find silver linings in challenging situations, and celebrate small victories along the way. Don't worry about grammar or spelling. This journal is for your eyes only. So let your thoughts flow freely onto the page and trust that clarity will come through the process of writing itself. Number five, build meaningful connections. As we move from the solitary practice of journaling to the world of relationships, it's important to remember that while INFJs need solitude to recharge, you also thrive on deep, meaningful connections. This is especially true during a fertility journey, which can sometimes feel isolating. We INFJs value authentic relationships over small talk or large social gatherings. We very much value quality over quantity. In fact, one of your love languages is probably quality time. In the context of your fertility journey, this means surrounding yourself with a small supportive community that truly understands and respects your experience. This could be a fertility support group where you can share your struggles and triumphs with others who are on a similar path. Look for groups that align with your values and approach to fertility. You might find one that incorporates holistic health practices or spiritual elements that resonate with you. In fact, my five-day Magical Mama Challenge offers just that kind of support. Don't underestimate the power of one-on-one -on -one connections either. Cultivate friendships with those who can offer emotional support without judgment. This might be other women on their own fertility journey or friends who, while not in the same situation, can offer empathy and understanding and therefore hold space for you. If you have a partner, focus on deepening your connection with them. Open, honest communication about your feelings, fears, and hopes can strengthen your bond and create a united front as you face the challenges of your fertility journey together. But here's a caveat with your partner. I don't recommend that all you talk about is your fertility journey. It should just be a small aspect of your interactions together. Your life should not revolve around creating the baby, creating the family. There are other parts of you to your personalities, to who you are, to your identities, and to your lives. Let that come into the communication and talk about that as well. Remember, as INFJs, we have a gift for creating safe spaces for others to be vulnerable. Use this gift to foster connections where both you and others feel seen, heard, and valued. 
These meaningful relationships can provide crucial emotional support, practical advice, and moments of joy throughout your motherhood journey. Number six, align with your values. As we cultivate meaningful external connections, it's equally important to maintain a strong internal connection with our core values. As INFJs, we're driven by a deep sense of purpose and a strong moral compass. Ensuring that your fertility journey aligns with your personal beliefs and ethics is crucial for your emotional and spiritual well-being. Take some time to reflect on your values. What matters most to you? Holistic health? spiritual growth, environmental sustainability. Once you've identified your core values, consider how they intersect with your fertility journey. This alignment might influence the type of treatments you're comfortable with, the practitioners you choose to work with, or the lifestyle changes you're willing to make. For example, if environmental sustainability is a key value for you, you might prioritize organic foods, pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed beef, and natural remedies in your fertility plan. If spirituality is central to your life, you might incorporate prayer or meditation into your daily routine. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to fertility. What matters is that your journey feels authentic to you. Don't be afraid to question conventional wisdom if it doesn't align with your values. At the same time, be open to new ideas that might challenge your preconceptions but ultimately resonate with your deeper truth. By staying true to your values, you'll feel more empowered and at peace with the decisions you make along your fertility journey. This alignment can provide a sense of purpose and direction, even in the face of challenges. Number seven, embrace holistic health. As we align our fertility journey with our values, we naturally move towards a more holistic approach to health. As INFJs, we tend to see the interconnectedness of all things, and this perspective is particularly valuable when it comes to fertility. Embrace a holistic approach that integrates physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. Understand that these aspects of health are not separate, but deeply intertwined, each influencing the others. On the physical level, focus on nourishing your body with fertility-boosting foods, staying hydrated, and getting regular gentle exercise. Pay attention to your sleep patterns and work on establishing a consistent sleep routine, as quality sleep is crucial for hormonal balance. For emotional and mental health, consider practices like emotional freedom technique, EFT, or tapping, to manage stress and negative thought patterns. Remember, your mental state can have a significant impact on your physical health. Don't neglect your spiritual health either. Whether through meditation, prayer, or time in nature, nurture your connection to something greater than yourself. Many INFJs find that the spiritual connection provides comfort and strength during the ups and downs of any journey that might be challenging. Consider complementary therapies that address multiple aspects of health simultaneously. Acupuncture, for instance, can support physical health while also promoting emotional balance. Yoga combines physical movement with breath work and meditation, offering a truly holistic practice. Remember, holistic health is about finding balance. It's not about perfection in any one area, but rather about nurturing all aspects of your being. Listen to your body honor your emotions, challenge your thoughts, and feed your spirit. This integrated approach can enhance your overall well-being and boost your fertility. Speaking of holistic approaches, I've created a comprehensive fertility after 40 checklist that aligns perfectly with this philosophy. It covers physical health, emotional and mental well-being, spiritual connection, lifestyle adjustments, and continued learning. This checklist is a game changer, helping you organize your fertility journey and approach it with discipline and intention. You can download it for free by clicking the link in the description. Trust me, it's a valuable tool that you don't want to miss. Number eight, visualize success. As we nurture our holistic health, let's leverage another INFJ strength, our vivid imagination. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help align our subconscious mind with our conscious desires. And as INFJs, we have a natural ability for this practice. Use your rich inner world to visualize a positive outcome for your motherhood journey. 
This isn't about denying the challenges or difficulties you might face, but about creating a strong, positive vision to move towards. You might want to create a vision board as a physical representation of your visualization. Use images, words, and symbols that represent your motherhood goals and the feelings associated with achieving them. Place this vision board in an area where you can see it daily, allowing it to serve as a constant reminder of what you're working towards. Remember, visualization isn't about magical thinking. It's a tool to help you stay focused on your goals, maintain a positive mindset, and perhaps even influence your behaviors in subtle ways that support your motherhood journey. Number nine, manage perfectionism. As you harness the power of visualization, it's important to address a common INFJ trait that can sometimes hinder your progress, perfectionism. We INFJs often have high standards for ourselves and a desire to do everything right. While this can be a driving force for personal growth, it can also lead to unnecessary stress and self-criticism, neither of which are helpful on a fertility journey. Remember, this path is often unpredictable and not entirely within your control. There is no perfect way to navigate your way to success. What works for one person might not work for another. What works one month might not work the next in the same person. Practice self-compassion when things don't go as planned. If a treatment doesn't work, if you miss a day of your supplements, or if you don't perfectly follow your fertility diet, or a drink slips in now and then, remind yourself that you're doing your best. Perfect adherence isn't necessary for success. Instead of aiming for perfection, focus on progress and consistency. Celebrate the small wins along the way, the healthy meals you prepare, the stress-reducing practices you implement, the medical appointments you attend. Each of these is a step forward on your journey. When you catch yourself falling into perfectionist thinking, try to reframe your thoughts. Instead of, I have to do everything perfectly to get pregnant, try, I'm taking positive steps to support my fertility, and that's what matters. Remember, stress can negatively impact fertility, and perfectionism often leads to increased stress. By letting go of the need for perfection, you're actually creating a more fertile environment within your body and mind. Embrace the idea of good enough. You don't need to be the perfect expectant mother. You just need to be you, doing your best with the information and resources that you have. And finally, we come to number 10, balance self-care and giving. It's important to address the delicate balance between caring for ourselves and caring for others. As INFJs, we're natural caregivers with a deep desire to help and support those around us. While this is a beautiful quality, it can sometimes lead us to neglect our own needs, especially during challenging times like a fertility journey. Remember, taking care of yourself is not selfish. It's necessary. Think of it like the oxygen mask principle on an airplane. You need to put on your own mask before helping others. By prioritizing your own physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being, you're actually enhancing your capacity to support others in the long run. This is more than self-care. This is soul care. Create a soul care routine that nourishes you on all levels. This might include practices we've already discussed like mindfulness, meditation, yoga, and holistic health practices but it should also include simple pleasures and activities that bring you joy and relaxation, like a walk out in nature or a nice cup of tea. At the same time, don't completely shut off your nurturing side. Find ways to give that don't deplete you. That might mean offering emotional support to a friend, volunteering for a cause you care about, or simply performing small acts of kindness in your daily life. These acts of giving can actually boost your mood and provide a sense of purpose, which can be especially valuable during the uncertainty of a fertility journey. I know I've given you a lot, but I wanted to be thorough about how you can leverage your INFJ qualities to your advantage on your way to motherhood. The key is to find a balance that feels right for you. You don't have to do everything that I suggested. In fact, I don't recommend it because you might be overwhelmed. Instead, pick one or two things to start with, and as it becomes a new habit, you can add more. 
Pay attention to your energy levels. If you're feeling drained or overwhelmed, it's a sign to dial back on giving and focus more on self-care. If you're feeling energized and fulfilled, you will have more to offer others, including your baby. Remember that as an INFJ, you have unique gifts of insight, empathy, and determination. These qualities are powerful allies on your motherhood journey. By honoring your authentic self and integrating mind, body, and spirit, you can navigate this path with grace and resilience. I encourage you to take action on what you've learned today. Start by downloading the Fertility After 40 checklist I mentioned earlier. It's a powerful tool to help you implement these strategies in a structured way. And don't forget to sign up for the five-day Magical Mama Challenge to deepen your connection with your body and its innate wisdom. I'd love to hear about your experiences and insights, what resonated most with you from today's video. Do you have any strategies that have worked well for you as an INFJ on your fertility journey? Share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, stay hopeful, stay authentic, and most importantly, stay you.